Alice near us, everybody. Oh, Max, can you help me? Sure, anything you want. <laughs> I'm in very big trouble. I kill him. <laughs> you kill? The man who put you in big trouble. There is no man. Your gracias. <laughs> no, it's my homework. I know finish it. I haven't even started it. <laughs> but Monsieur Brown is going to be very angry. Don't worry, Giovanni. He's going to fix everything. Yeah? Buonasera. Uh, OK. Who wants the homework? Only 10p each. Hey, 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 10p, no peseta. <laughs> Um, okay, who's right, the next? Yeah, please. Um, Giovanni. Yeah. Please, please. How, 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 how we know answers are right? Sure answers are right. My landlady's little boy writes them down. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, this is too bad. He should be here. You want to give Mr. Blown a massage? <laughs> I presume you mean message. Collect. No, thank you. No, I shall wait until he arrives. It will give me an opportunity to find out how much you have learnt. Which is precious little, I suspect. But, madame, we learn a lot from Monsieur Brown. Yes. Yes. Well, quiet now, quiet, quiet. Very well. Let's see if we can find out how much you've learned from Mr. Brown. Uh, can anyone give me a sentence containing the word uh, catalyst? Catalyst? Well, come along, somebody. Catalyst. Por favor, señora. Yes. In my country, Spain, most of the people are Roman Catholics. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's not right. No? Italy is a much bigger catalyst country. Good evening, Miss Courtney. It's almost good night. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm late. I was detained at the paper shop. Mr. Brown, I know the times are hard, but do you have to deliver newspapers? Oh, no, no, no. I bought them. They're, they're for the students as part of their education. Well, they certainly need some education. Yes. Well, good evening. What is that? Ah, that. Oh, excuse me, please. I'm just this moment arriving. Excuse me again. I go. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I come back. <laughs> are you moving house? Oh, not at all. I'm coming here straight from work. Oh, you've got a job. Yes, please. I'm a traveling salesman. <laughs> I go around nicking the doors. <laughs> Knocking. That is correct. Hey, what are you selling? Oh, blimey, everything. For a master or a mistress. I show you some example. Maybe you will be wanting to buy something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, thanks. I don't think that's my size. I'm so sorry, please. Uh, this case is for the lady people, sorry. Yeah, yes. And this case is for the men people. And everything very cut price. Ah, look this, please. You not have to be tying it. And also, if you are dropping soup, you'll be wiping it off. A jolly good plastic. Yes, very ingenious. Only one pound fifty. You're wanting one? Uh, no, thanks. I'm telling you what I am doing. To you, only one point. Yeah, I don't want one. <laughs> oh. How about a jolly good shirt? Ah, it is guaranteed 100% substandard. <laughs> no, thank you. Ali, you got any socks? Plenty socks. 50p only. Plenty woolly. Yeah, Ali. Uh, excuse, I'm serving. Uh. OK. <laughs> I have a two. Right. One, two. Money, money, money. Fifty. Ah. Now, tell me, anybody wanting any under trousers, all different colors? How much? Only 50p. Yeah. Ali, please. Ah, you are wanting no. one. I'm finding you a very good pair. Hi, 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 hi. Lovely, lovely. Red, white, and blue. Just like Union Jack. Very patriotic, but no thank you. Have you any scarf? Most definitely. For you, only one pound. Made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong? 
I not buy from capital estate where workers exploit it as cheap labor? <laughs> oh, ah, anybody else wanting something else? Ali, please. Ah. 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 You are exchanging your money. No, I'm not. Put your suitcase away. This is not petticoat lane. Just sit down, everybody. Come on. Juan, Taro, sit down. Right, before we do anything else this evening, I want to find a monitor. OK. You tell us where to look, we find the one. <laughs> oh, Giovanni, a monitor is a person who can take charge of the class during my absence, somebody intelligent enough to assume responsibility. Mm -hmm. now, on second thoughts, perhaps it's not such a good idea after all. Please, I think I'm making good monitor. <laughs> I think we'll alternate, have a different one each week. It'll be good experience for you. Right, uh, Anna, we'll start with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you'll just hand these round and collect the homework. Yeah. Yes, Anna. Yes. And from now on, I want to hear no more foreign languages spoken in this class. From the moment you come in here, you speak English all the time. Is that understood? Por favor. Yeah. Uh, no, por favor. Por favor, finito. English only. Sora. Yes. Good. <laughs> thank you. Now, have you all got a newspaper? Uh, right, well, I'm going to ask you each to read out a passage from the newspaper and then we'll discuss it together, OK? Max, you start us off. American Embassy Bugged. <laughs> no, Max, bugged. <laughs> hey, my boss, he all the time say he's bugged. Yes. <laughs> Yes, uh, so well, that may be so, Giovanni, but the word we're dealing with is bugged. Now, read it again, Max, correctly. American embassy bugged. Good. <laughs> Good. Now, does anybody know what that means? Ah, taro. <laughs> it means American embassy full of little insects. <laughs> No, Tara, they're not that sort of bugs. Listening devices. Jamila, oh. can you read something from your newspaper? Yeah, read, oh, no, no. Yeah, read something. There, there, that way. Like. <laughs> huh. Eight P. Yes, well, that's a start. <laughs> um. Late again, Ranji. Oh, Mr. Teacher, I am apologizing most humbly. Yes, well, perhaps next week you'll try and get here on time. I'm thinking next week I'm not being here at all. Well, you, you're leaving us? I'm going to be joining Honourable Ancestors. <laughs> Does you mean you're going to die? Most definitely. I'm going to die by my own hand. Please, if you're wanting any assistance, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be helping. I thought you didn't like Sikhs. That is why I'm happy to be helping. <laughs> All right, Ali, this is no laughing matter. I think Ranjit is serious. Most well, certainly I am. Oh, well, why are you thinking of killing yourself? I'm forced to be getting married. Oh, uh -huh. you Randy old chapati. <laughs> you are putting some innocent lady in the pudding club. <laughs> You're nothing of a certain Muslim twit. Yeah, All right, that'll do. Look, I don't understand, Ranjit. Why are you being forced to get married? According to the Sikh tradition, I was betrothed when I was 12, to Surinder, the 10-year-old daughter of the best friend of my father. She was a beautiful girl, with hair like silk, eyes like black diamonds, and a figure <laughs> like a tender bamboo shoot. <laughs> and now her father is saying, it is time for me to be marrying her. Yeah, well, if she said eyes like black diamonds, hair like silk, and a figure like a tender bamboo shoot, what are you complaining about? Blimey, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> now she's putting on so much weight that from behind, she's looking like an elephant. <laughs> Matter of fact, she's looking like an elephant from front also. Look, can't you just tell her that you've changed your mind? Not at all. Only lady can change mind. Yeah. I am up the creek without a poodle. <laughs> And a paddle. You not do it. It's a sin to kill yourself. It's the only course which is left open to me. When you do this uh, killing yourself? Tonight. Can we come and watch? <laughs> this is ridiculous. People don't go around killing themselves rather than break off an engagement. But it is my religion. Well, in that case, why don't you marry? That will be worse than killing myself. Well, go and sit down. We'll discuss whether you kill yourself or not during the tea break. Now, have, would Mr. you all look at your new... 
There is an Indian lady in my office who wishes to speak to Mr. Ranjit Singh. Excuse me, Missy. This lady, is she resembling an elephant? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly put it like that, but she is rather large. Blimey, please surrender. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> ask her to come along here, Miss Courtney, would That's you? That's very irregular. Yeah, well, it is rather important. Oh, very well, but don't make a habit of it. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Oh, so we can talk to her, perhaps make her see reason. It's not anywhere possible. I kill myself. Uh, come on, put it <laughs> Max Giovanni, hold his up. <laughs> Where is he? He's not here yet. Ah, I wait for him in the corridor. He is promised to me, and I swear by Holy Guru, he is having me. Sarele kai samjaya? Sare khandani na kataniya? Edi boti boti karke? Kawana kwadenge? Ah, are piani kareva the kitaja? Well, what am I telling you? Yes, I quite see your point about an elephant. <laughs> Still, don't worry, Ranjit. I'm sure some elephants are very nice. Can I have a knife back, please? Yeah, promise you won't kill yourself. Promise? Killing myself is not going to help me? That's the attitude. <laughs> I have much better idea. Yeah. I kill her! No! <laughs> Still there? Yes, Look, I'm still here. I really think you ought to go home. No, I wait for Ranjit. Yeah, well, I don't think Ranjit will be coming tonight. I wait. <laughs> is she still being out in corridor? Yeah, I'm afraid so, Ranjit. <laughs> Look, Miss Courtney is not going to be very pleased when she finds out about this. Oh, dearie me, what am I going to be doing? Well, can't you just tell her <laughs> you're not going to marry her? Huh? But I am not going to be marrying Missy Courtney. <laughs> I am referring to surrender. Oh, no. If I am telling her that, she's surely going to kill me. Ah, you said you were going to kill yourself. That is correct. Yeah. Please stop. In my country, personal commuter, Hera Kerry, it is custom for best friend to be present to chop off head. <laughs> chop off head? Hi. <laughs> I will be happy to assist her. You will do nothing, <laughs> nothing of the sort. Oh, now, 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 please, everybody, just sit down. You're here to learn English. We've had enough disruption for one night. You should leave your personal problems at home. Now, look at your newspapers. Juan, read out a headline. Por favor. The newspaper. Ah, si. Sí. <coughs> El newspaper. Yeah, well, read something out. Ah. Eh... Uh... Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Increase in London rats. London rats? Sí. Increase in London rats. Rates. Perdón, perdón. Anna, your turn. Western world welcomes wind of change. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, very good. Uh, Daniel. <coughs> Prime Minister sold a pop. Good. <laughs> now, that is a very good example of a figure of speech. Prime Minister sold a pup. Can you tell me what that means, Giovanni? He's buying a dog. <laughs> No, it's a figure of speech. Look, let me give you another example. Prime Minister sold a dummy. Do you know what that means? Sure. Did you understand it? Yeah. It's just one thing I don't understand. What? Does he buy the dummy before or after he buy the pub? <laughs> he doesn't buy anything. Ah, the newspaper man's a bigger liar. <laughs> Look, a figure of speech. I told you, it's just a figure of speech. It doesn't mean what it says. Typical of imperial politicians who distort loose and suppress working classes. Thank you. 
A figure of speech is a way of expressing an idea by way of contrast or comparison. If you're being sold a pup or sold a dummy, you're being cheated or deceived. In England, we use figures of speech quite a lot. For example, we say, as quick as lightning, as light as a feather, as clean as a whistle, as blind as a suli. As blind as a bat. Good, because bats cannot see. Max, as deaf as a... Postman. <laughs> Now, Max, post, because posts cannot hear. Neither can my postman. <laughs> Ali, as sly as a... Sikh. <laughs> Fox, Ranjit, as mad as a... Muslim. <laughs> At a... Taro, as drunk as a... Newton. <laughs> now, a lord is more correct. Jamila, as white as... You. <laughs> No. Ali. As smooth as... Baby's buttons. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll break for tea now and continue with the uh, newspapers when we come back, all right? Please. How am I going to be getting out without being observed by the fat one? Yeah. Well, that's your problem. My problem is how to get her off the premises before Miss Courtney finds her. Look, I, I really think you ought to go home. No, I stay. Yeah. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Um, yes, well, I, I'm talking to this lady. Why is she here? Well, well, she's talking to me. Why is she sitting in the corridor? Why is she sitting in the corridor? Must you repeat everything I say? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't pregnant yesterday. <laughs> You're safe now. Thank you, Jamila. Thank you. Thank you. What you do now? Maybe I jump out of the window. You be lucky. We're on the third floor. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Brown, I have a feeling that something very peculiar is going on. No, no, everything's perfectly all right, I can assure you. Are you going? Yes. Ah. To get a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I only want a cup of tea. Oh, blimey, just surrender. Ah, that was sounding like my Ranjit. Where is he now? Yeah, I told you he's not here. But here, excuse me, dearie. Huh? Are you looking for the darky fellow with the beard and the bandage round his head? Yes, certainly. Here. He's just come behind those curtains. <laughs> Come out, Ranjit. I am knowing you are there. Come out! Windows very dirty, so I'm cleaning them for you. I like very much cleaning windows. In the pitch dark. Now come in off that window ledge at once. Most oh, certainly. A thousand apologies. I'm waiting too long. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Ciao. I'm doing it now. Oh, so you keep saying. This is it then. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> oh. Maybe I'm having a cup of coffee before I do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ranji, we all know you haven't the slightest intention of killing yourself, so put your knife away and let's discuss this properly. Now, Surinder, as I understand it, you and Ranjit here were both betrothed when they were children. 
Most definitely. Now he is not wanting to marry me. Yeah, well, you can't get married unless you love each other. Yeah. It is his duty to be marrying me. Otherwise, I'm losing my face. I think she's lost it already. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be happy together. I mean, can't you just agree to release Ranjit from his promise? And what is to become of me? Well, I'm sure you'll meet somebody else. Ah. <laughs> if I think I'll meet another man, oh, I most gladly release Ranjit. You would? Most certainly. But who is having me now? Hmm. You know, Surinder, there is something Mr. Brown is not telling you. There is? Oh, yes, indeed. He has special reason for wanting you not to be marrying me. I have. <laughs> he is wanting to marry her himself? <laughs> he is wanting to be marrying me? I'm wanting to marry her. <laughs> oh, I accept. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Mr. Brown. Good evening, Gladys. Here. When's the happy day, then? Yeah, there's not going to be any happy day. It was all a complete misunderstanding. Oh, what a pity. And I thought you and Sarinda made a lovely couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all due respect, she was a couple on her own. Good evening. Checked your homework last night. And I have a feeling that there's been some sort of chicanery going on. We not know what you mean. No, Giovanni, well, I'll tell you. Firstly, there's the fact that five of them are all in the same handwriting. <laughs> it's a sheer coincidence. <laughs> and is it also a coincidence that you all answered question seven as follows? Question, explain what is wrong with the following sentence. My dogs is in the garden. <laughs> Answer, I do not have a garden. <laughs> Well, you will all receive extra homework tonight. And please, this time, make sure that you do it yourselves. I am apologizing again, <laughs> but I am delayed by Surinder. Well, I thought she'd agreed to release you from your marriage vow. Oh, yes, she has. But her father is coming to see you about your marriage vow. <laughs> Look, there's not going to be any wedding. I have broken it off. Oh, dear me. How painful. <laughs> I have written to Surinder's parents explaining that I cannot possibly marry their daughter. I've also pointed out the differences between our religious and cultural backgrounds and the fact that I have no intention of marrying anyone. Oh. <laughs> you should have got the letter this morning. Oh, yes, he did. That is why he's coming. He's hoping to be slicing you into many pieces. Pardon? He's saying you are bringing disgrace on his daughter. Don't be ridiculous. This isn't the Punjab. It's England, a civilised country. People just don't go around slicing each other up, and I shall tell him so. <laughs> where is this illegitimate offspring of a six-legged camel? Oh, blimey, I am not knowing where he is. He, he's not here. He has a oh. 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 Thank <laughs> you.